Are you serious? Are you serious? Everybody get some coffee and calm down. But this thing that Kathy Griffin did, this is horrendous. But folks, it's horrible. And the fact that little Baron Trump thought it was real, thought it was his father, uh, is just horrible. But I believe this was a effigy. This was Bilderberg's sacrifice before they started their meetings. Because Kathy Griffin came out with this beheading of Donald Trump the day before Bilderberg started. And, you know, Bohemian Grove, when they meet, they always have that big owl, the god of Moloch. And they always uh, have a burning of an effigy of a person they sacrifice to Moloch. And all of these world leaders run around naked with little uh, robes on, like, like some kind of uh, paganistic worship and run around the woods naked and all this stuff. I mean, this are you serious? I mean, I'm telling you, this is what these people do. I think the Bilderberg group is so upset with Donald Trump. And if you look at their agenda, they have a 13 point agenda. And in the agenda, Trump is number one. I mean, you can read the entire list and I'll do that during my live show. I will read the list of the people that are going to be at Bilderberg who are there right now from all over the world. But uh, the agenda, number. listen to this, 13-point agenda. And 13, of course, that's the right number if you're, if you're the Illuminati. Uh, number one, number one on the agenda, the Trump administration. Number one, no wonder Kathy Griffin had to be had. Number two, transatlantic relations. Why? Because of Trump. Number three, the transatlantic defiance alliance, bullets, bites, and bucks. They're trying to figure out how to, the globalists, the global elitists are trying to figure out how to survive. Trump has literally put a roadblock. He has thrown a wrench in the entire Illuminati plan. Number four, what's the direction of the EU? It's in a state of chaos with Brexit. So the people are rising up against globalism. And that's why Kathy Griffin did what she did called it art or comedy, but it is nothing. And listen to this, folks. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, what happened to little Byron Trump? The controversy over Kathy Griffin holding up the bloodied, severed head of the President of the United States, Donald Trump, an action which has led to her removal from CNN's New Year's Eve programming, reportedly spilled into the President's family. Uh, according to TMZ, Donald Trump's 11-year-old son, Byron, was in front of the TV watching a show when the news came on and he saw the bloody, beheaded image of his father. He hollered out in a panic and screamed, Mommy, Mommy. I was hoping against hope that the level of discourse wouldn't sink this low, uh, where people should know better and would start and, and not get to the point that they would attack little Byron, but uh, Rosie O'Donnell and several others who should know better have dashed their hopes this afternoon. That was yesterday. They started criticizing little Byron. Uh, uh, Byron might be autistic. She linked to a seven-minute video compiling clips from the Republican National Convention, the president's debates, Trump's acceptance speech, and... Uh, and all of that, in which she showed little 10-year-old Byron might be showing signs of autism. She defended what she did for three days, suggesting, among other things, as described in the Washington Times, that Byron was fair game because Mr. Trump is the president-elect. So here we go. And now Jim Carrey, he's standing behind Kathy Griffin all the way. And other left-wing liberal uh Actors and, and, and what have you are defending Kathy Griffin and what she did. This is horrific, folks. What level? But this is Bilderberg. I believe this is the effigy Be, to, to start Bilderberg off. They had to have a sacrifice. They can't let Bohemian Grove be the only one that does this. Theirs was the beheading of Donald Trump because in their heart, the witches, folks, the witches of the world are calling special days for all witches, warlocks, sorcerers, pagans, voodoo, hoodoo, and everything else.
Voodoo, who do you think you're fooling? I mean, everybody coming against Donald Trump. Why? Because the globalist, the Luciferians, the new world order, the beast in the Bible that's trying to rise has to take down every obstacle in its way, including the Trump administration, including the United States of America, including, if it can, but it can't, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, including Israel, if it can, but it can't. I'm telling you, folks, we're in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Are you serious, Bilderberg?